Okay, right, I think I've got a plan here. How big is this army down there? Oh, fuck loads of Dark Riders, ugh. You just massive assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I always judge people who use shitloads of Dark Riders. Because it's like they didn't want you to play the game with them. They just wanted something for someone to shoot. Yeah. Just jerks. Um, right, so if I cancel these buildies, then that means that this guy, he can get more buildy. Yeah. And then you come down here and try and spook him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a spooky guy. Uh, oh, Marathi's back and oh, the amount of chaos she's bringing. Oh, there's not even Marathi, it's just Belinda. It's like she doesn't even need to actually fight you. She just needs to sit and raid you, and the raiding combined with the, the corruption. Oh man, it does. Fuck you. It does the fucking work. Oh, time is a ticking. Yeah, that's okay. No, I'm basically, basically all done. Just skipping through the um, notification saying. Uh, everything's shit. Do better. <laughs> Be a better Tomb King. I don't know if you noticed, Tom, but you're fucking this up. It's going really badly wrong for you. <laughs> Thanks, game. Thanks. Thanks, game. Oh, shit. Can, when can I recruit? Oh, three turns till I get the birds. Birds back. The bird is the word. Man, actually, Regiment's Renown in this is a pretty good for the Tomb Kings. Yeah, really good. Like, un like unless they die... Which then it's bad. Um, although, how does it work with regular armies? Is there like a cooldown before you can recruit them again? There must be. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember there being a cooldown. Um, it's kind of weird. It's weird. You're weird. What? <laughs> um, so rude. Oh, Marathi's at war with some other elves. Maybe I can be friends with those elves. Ah, and then you can have a friend. They do not like me. Oh shit, they just have a default minus 50%. 50, just, we fucking hate you. Wow, what the High Elves do? No, this other unit of Dark Elves, other Dark Elf tribe. Wow. Oh Jesus, actually, man, the that cheaty research thing yeah. would be fucking amazing. Because I'm on the third one now, and it'll take 31 turns to do. Okay. Well, it feels like we should have already done it if we were going to do it, like to get the most benefit. Yeah, yeah. Just like looking at this fucking thing, like man, it is like it's definitely dirty and very mm. sneaky. Definitely not how the game was meant to be played. Yeah, <laughs> it's a real like abuse of just what you could do. Um, man, oh, if the Skaven would fucking fight Marathi, it'd be so good. Hmm. Ooh. Could you pay him? Maybe. Oh, fuck me. Look at that army. Oh my god, it's just all fucking Dark Riders. you got to feel bad for these little, like, village garrison commanders. Yeah. You're basically saying, you're in charge of this, but if I'm ever not here, you're going to die. Yeah, you will die. Your job is just to, just to die. <laughs> yeah. Just to stop a single lord coming in and taking the territory. And even then, mm, it's dicey. Uh, yeah, if he's a chaos one, he'd probably <laughs> yeah. have you. If they have any backup at all, you're definitely going to die. But, I don't know, maybe that's like your, your sort of like breakout role. Um, that used to happen in one of the old Total War games. You, your characters were very limited. Like, you had to like, they had to be your, your like, in the it was first like family members. It was only family members, so if you had no children or they were too young, Occasionally, like, you'd fight a garrison defense and the garrison commander would, like, prove himself and you could adopt him into your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was... I'm sure I've told you this story before. Of I think it was, like, Medieval 2. Mm. Um, playing as Scotland. And um, used to get, like, sort of, like, the Scottish berserkers. Um, oh, yeah. The Highland berserker guys. Mm. They were uh, just sort of super, super killy. Yeah, all tanked up on iron brew. Um, and it's like this massive like kamikaze unit. And they caused fear as mm -hmm. well uh, in people because they were just like um, like psychopaths. Yeah. And had this thing, this unit. Mm -hmm. And sure, bam. Uh, they went, uh, like, the, there were only like five guys in that unit at one point. And <laughs> they went into a battle and they just like charged at the enemy and units would kind of like break before they hit them because they were like super high rank 
mega killers right and oh, really can you imagine units. like the campfire stories being told like oh. um before the eve of battle like oh i heard the highland scotsman are here yeah yeah like fuck like, fuck <laughs> they're, they're fucking coming for us <laughs> um but yeah so these guys went into battle mm-hmm. there was like five in the unit um four of them got killed uh in oh, that fight oh my god one dude was left yeah but after the battle because there wasn't a proper commander he was recommended to become like like a like a general. Like this unit oh, performed really cool. well. He can become your general. Um I didn't have a really big family tree at that point. And so it ends up with this guy who started out as just a berserker, <laughs> yeah. became like a general, and then <laughs> My actual bloodline died out, and he became king of Scotland. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good! And was just like, wow, <laughs> you, you can... just fucking murder machine. Um, oh, that is amazing, I love it. Yeah, no one can disagree that, like, you know, he fucking earned his, yeah. earned his way. Um, and then went on to conquer all of Europe as Scotland with him, him at the lead. Oh my god, did you actually end up, like, finishing that... That playthrough. I kind of think I got bored after a while. Like, like most most playthroughs. Um, when it hit that point of like, I've just got more stuff and it's just the auto-resolve. Because uh, you'd have like gigantic armies, mm. like s- 10 armies just like moving around because you didn't need generals. Like, oh, playing. yeah, you could just have armies without generals, couldn't you? Yeah, just like big blobs of them. Oh! What's up? Something's happened. Yeah. I opportunity to it intercept. Yeah. Oh, I have ambushed the ambushers. Oh. Um. Huh? Undeterred by their discovery, the enemy. Oh, so I've discovered an ambush. It didn't trigger its ambush. Right. Shit. I literally just walked out of my my territory, and they just immediately jumped me. They were just waiting there, the dirty dogs. So I could choose to have a pitch battle or retreat. I'm going to retreat. Oh my god! So they're right there all along. It's dirty, dirty dogs. I was coming, I was stepping out of my city so I could set an ambush. Oh, shit. And I thought, I'm just going to camp on the edge of my territory and ambush. The ambushes. Yeah. Fuck. And um, turned out they, they were already there first. Oh, my God. What a <laughs> mess. Shit, what a fucking fiasco. All right, what else am I doing? I guess, I guess that's all I'm doing. I'm off to get a book. Yeah. The wonderful book of Nagash. Nagash, 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 Nagash. The wonderful book of Nagash. Um. If there was a book, there was a book, there was a book. Bookity, 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 bookity. Oh. 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 Okay, I'm confused by what's going on here. What's happening? Right, see so the... There are two Marathi armies in my territory. Right. Advancing down this pass towards me. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're, they're coming along. Um, and then the Skaven army, they have a full stack. Oh god, and the Dark Elves are attacking me. Oh, Dark Elf Force 5000. It's slightly in my favor. Ugh. Ugh. Sounds like you want to concede Book Wars. Tom. I do want to concede Book Wars. I hate Book Wars. I, maybe I should have actually played Tomb Kings before we began. I've kind of like having to be work stuff out on the fly. Uh, you know, I reckon Auto Resolve is probably better for me than fighting this. Oh, you've got a lot of spearmans. I'll oh, be you are marching. Ugh. Yeah, I see your problem. Although only two of them have got guns. Oh, they're dead. We killed uh, him. Wow, you did it. You didn't take that many losses either. Super murdered everyone. Well, yeah, actually, two thirds of you guys are dead. But you uh, wiped them out. Wow. Holy shit. Normally they like retreat if they're losing, especially if they're on horses. Yeah, really. Oh, oh look, my god, the look general. At their lord. His general got 634 kills. Fuck! That is like the most kills I think I've ever seen in you this. You could never pull that off in an actual battle. He would break. Or just everything around him would break. I just don't know. I don't There's not know. enough time in a battle to get that many kills. Jesus. <laughs> oh, fuck well, me. That was a good decision, Tom. Yeesh. Yeah, all I lost was just two swordsmen. Fuck, I'll take that. Um, but, oh, this army was going down to do stuff. Will it come back in time? Oh, I don't fucking know. Okay, well, his old ambushy Magoo's come for me. Oh, I retreated, hoping he would do the sensible thing and retreat to his village where the garrison would help but no just fucking no it, he, I don't know where he went but 
Fuck, fuck you. Fucking Choddy. So look, Tom, it's Choddy and his Chod army against a guy with slightly less Chod. A tiny bit less Chod. I'm going to fight it. Okay. You had one job, Choddy. I've even started building uh, walls in that village he stood next to. The whole point of Choddy was to hold... We've got the exact same number of units, just you have some dogs, which are good, some bats, which they'll sure they'll eat my archers. Um, but I do have slightly more swords. Yeah, than you've got you. three double swordsmen who are way better than regular swordsmen. And I think you're, you're going to win just because you're slightly less choddy than me. Oh, look at Oh my god, look, look at, at this that map. fucking place. This is cool. This is a cool place to fight. This is what I want from a desert. Can I raise those skeletons? Not skeletons, um, scorpions. Look, Ooh. there's some giant scorpions. Oh my god. Okay, fine. You can have the scorpions. I want the giant fucking stone statue of a <laughs> skeleton guy. I'll, I'll make that trade. Yeah, but mine come to life and yours don't. Uh, mine might come to life. Right. Bam. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Why not? Oh, you're just doing super hill. Yeah. You're attacking me. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Gonna just have to take take those shots when they come in. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't mind. Actually, no, you have you have your shots, Ben. You I have will. them. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take all my shots. Each and every last one of them. Do, do one dead get tired? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, at the moment, like normal troops would say they, they're they feeling fresh. Undead troops say they're feeling animated. <laughs> right. Wow, for a unit on skirmish, they are letting you get very close to them. I think they know that I can't do anything <laughs> right. to get them. Okay, just keep it, keep it going, boys. I know it sucks. Pew pew pew. Keep shooting the pews. But we'll do it. Oh, what happened to them? They're sparkly. Are you casting magic on them? No, I don't have any magic. This is Chod Wars, Tom. Oh, Choddy and the Chod Wars. <laughs> the Chod Wars. Okay, Choddy. Ding. Choddy's coming Choddy's out. Choddy's coming out. He's got to show the Chod how it's done. Hey. Right. Okay. I really wish I didn't have these bats and dogs. <laughs> yeah, sure. they're not. They um, feel like a liability in Chod Wars. They're probably not going to help a huge amount. Oh man, when we both get our things. <laughs> and we have you Shapti Wars. Yeah. They're going to be pretty fucking good, I imagine. Yeah, lots of shit's going to die. Oh, that you're level two already? Yeah, I guess a lot of stuff's fucking dying. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. This isn't actually going as well as I'd hoped. No, you're, um, I thought your your skelly swordsmans would be just cutting, cutting a swath. I guess they're so trash that yeah, They can't isn't... even beat up other trash. Yeah, it's kind of trash wars at the moment. Uh, actually, maybe getting like your heal after mine is actually better. Mm. Oh, I think I'm winning. Yeah. And in even battle. <laughs> uh. Ah, I hit level three. Have you had your level three? Yeah. Oh, you're holding back. Yeah, I'm just waiting to see where I need it. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. I, I see you, baby. Yeah. Shaking, shaking that you Shabti. Yeah, we just did full on just Shabti counters. <laughs> yeah. We sure did. I, yeah, okay. No, we're kind of trading flanks right about now. Yeah, although I think you've kind of got both flanks. I'm a bit worried about this. You base. Oh, shit. Okay, right. This has gone wrong. <laughs> this has gone real wrong. Oh, no. Not fucking encyclopedia. Oh, oh fuck. perfect. That's what I needed. Do you know how long I've been trying to get him out of that combat? I've been... Th Basically since the start. I've been <laughs> continuously micro him out of that combat. And I think that's won you, won you the battle. I hope so. Okay, right. Fuck! Some units are Your breaking. Your guy's not just even hurt at all. Oh, I'm really annoyed that I saw that coming and I couldn't stop it. Yeah, GG. Everyone's just, just dying now. Perfect. Oh, okay. Chod wars. Choddy! Turns out, yeah, kill the guy in charge of the chod, and your chod 
maybe gets worse. Fucking hell, Choddy. You had one job. Choddy! Choddy! I think um, the reason he might have failed is because you didn't use his accent. Oh. Um, although this being said, I'm still losing every fight that I'm in. Apart from wherever know, skeleton archers are. My guys are effectively taking double damage. <laughs> Fighting horsemen. <laughs> the skeleton archers are beating your horsemen in combat. Wow, I thought... Everyone else is losing. I don't know what you're meant to do with the skelly, skelly archer horsemen. I think a bit like dogs. But, you... but if they can't even beat up archers in melee, then when they're out of ammo, they're, they're, they're shit. And you get half as many of them as regular archers. Yeah, they're fast, I guess. Yeah, not really an issue. You've just got archers sat behind shooting. They don't need to be fast. I think archers are just better than, than horse archers. There's more of them. They got more ammo. They're better in combat. The speed is not super helpful. Yeah. Oh shit! I would. I think I would have won this if Jody, Jody hadn't died. Okay, it seemed to be like going your way. My guys are actually super crumbling. Oh, it's because of all the death. Like this army is super falling apart now. Well, if I can get it down to a point where it can't conquer a garrison. Yeah, then I think I guess you it's job will done. actually have it. That's gonna. That'll, I'll count that as a victory. If it wipes out enough that the garrison can hold. Because I really don't want to lose this territory with a half under construction wall. Oh, fuck. That would be so annoying. Yeah, I can't imagine there's going to be any army left after this. Yeah, that flank is just not, not really dusting much, whereas all of my guys... Basically, everything apart from the lord and the archers uh, is crumbling at the moment. Oh, man. Uh, well, some of these skelly units, though, they're on, like, 5% health, but, like, 80% of their numbers are still there. Oh, shit. Okay, right, right, that flank. Your guys... Cool. You got okay. it. Bam! Oh, always decisive, aren't they, Undead Wars? Holy shit, pretty fucking savage. Oh my god, look how many people died. <laughs> wow, man, some of your fucking swordsmen, 149 kills. Yeah, I think the flank charge. I had a lot of um, my swords in your flank. Wow, man. Well, yeah, of 2,000, less than 400 remain. I don't think they're going to be doing too much. Cool. Well, th oh, they're giving it a go. They're giving it a fucking red-hot go. <laughs> oh, my God, these fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a lord. Oh. Well, I'm going to want to resolve this because um, my bar says I, I win. Yeah. This, the bar super says you win. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to delete this army, go home, and re rebuild. <laughs> Apparently so. Why can't I fight the garbage AI? <laughs> <laughs> you did. Those those chaos resieged you. Oh yeah, that that was true. But they they actually were doing something like sneaky there by um uh, stopping me building units. Oh man, double KO. Holy fuck. Oh, I got a follower gained. A dog-headed Ushapti. <laughs> 5% um, discount off rights. Oh. Nice. Um, how do I do, replace a guy? Oh, you, you, you go to, you click on the man, you go to the magic item screen, and then you click on the boot. You give him the boot. Right, perfect. Okay. Blam. Right, Katep's back. Fuck, I'm having a rebellions here soon. <laughs> yeah, I think like the problem I have is like, the, from either end I get attacked. Mm. There's no way I can push into one without both armies, and if I go... Uh, then you're just going to lose on one of your sides. And I'm just not making nearly enough money to sort of get... Like, or like the growth and things like that isn't like nearly high enough to um, really like push out anywhere, uh, or get like more stuff. Yeah, it sounds tricky. I'm a bit... a bit fucking busted. I've got some new units. I've got some medium cav available. That's fun. Oh, nice. Um, what are the medium cav? Nekakara Hussman. <laughs> sure. Sure. I'm sure they are. Sounds like a thing. All right. So, believe it or not, Tom, sometimes our Warhammer lore is not 100% accurate. No. Did you know that? Sometimes, no. I so, can't believe that. I, sometimes we get it wrong. We've been playing Warhammer for a long time, Ben. I know, right? And I our think memories what... are like lasers. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I think they just change it when we're not looking. I think that's more likely. Yeah. So we've had some people in the comments um, 
explain like you know how they've changed it without us looking, and now it's different to what we said. What's different? Um, l- loads of things. Apparently, Tomb King Skelly Bobs are mm-hmm. like partially sentient. What? Like they just came back the way they came back. What? So they're like it's just like me right now, but. Yeah. Ooh, I'm a skeleton. I'm a skelly I'm skelly Tom. Skelly Tom, exactly. I'm skelly Ben. <laughs> uh, okay, right. So what? St- they still have all their same feelings and emotions and stuff. Yeah, and they still just do what their king says because you know he's the king. Sure. Um, also, your guy—he's not just like Cetra's PA. Oh, what? Apparently, he when he was living, he was like, "Don't worry, Cetra, I can make you immortal." Okay, okay. Oh, I got okay. this. Because Cetra, he was like the king of everything. But he didn't want to die because then he'd lose everything. He had the yeah. most to lose. So he was like, yo, Hierophant, hook me up with eternal eternal life. Yeah, I want, I want the, that good shit. I want that good shit. So he's like, you got it, boss. <laughs> you got it, boss. <laughs> I'll make you a mummy. And then you'll wake up in the afterlife with all, all the good shit. And then Nagash raised him back as a fucking skelly man. Right. And he was like... Hierophant! <laughs> okay. I'm not cool guy with, with, with 68 vestal virgins. Oh, I'm no. I'm a skelly man in a dead desert. This I'm fucking sucks. Just fucking skelly boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. That's why he sent him far away to, like, think about what he'd done. Okay. Fuck. Wow. So, uh, um, before you can come back to the lovely desert land, you need to th- fix what you did. Think about what I've done. Yeah. Um, and be sorry, and have a solution. Okay, right. Um, well, I think my solution is get myself killed to Dark Elves. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. You're already well on your way. Yeah. Uh, that's something I can pull off. Good job. I'm, I'm enjoying step one. Step two, profit? <laughs> you are straight in with profit. I don't know. It's, it's an unusual strat, Tom. People normally uh, have a have a step two in there before profit. Uh, no, it's just get killed by dark elves, then I profit. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. There's a lot of dark elves coming for me, and there's so many fucking corsairs which will eat my fucking skelly bobs alive. Yeah, These corsairs are real real a holes. Yeah, I don't have a lot of good stuff to fight them, Ben. You're not, you're not a good fight man. I don't have many good fight men. Oh man, I'm turning Sudenberg into Chod Fortress 5000. Chod Fortress 5 million. Okay, mm. sounds pretty good. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it, change its name actually in my turn. <sighs> what the fuck is Tretch up to? I do not <laughs> like this. <laughs> he's sneaking. He's moving like a full stack around my territory. I guess he's going north now. Jesus. He's a sneaky dicky. Yeah. We do not have open borders there. Oh, who's this? Or a fish. Another dark elf piling in. Uh, is this a declaration of war, perhaps? Oh, oh, it is a declaration of war. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, very kind. Oh, thank you, dark elf. Please, may I have another? <laughs> Please. Oh shit! And they're moving a full stack in my north. Oh so my I've got, god! I've got them from the south, from the east, and the north. What's in the west? Uh, the ocean. Oh, okay. Back um, to the ocean. Well, literally <laughs> is a uh, like map that you cannot move in. Um, wow. Mm. The to the Warhammer Pacific coast. Yeah, I think I think Book Wars is going to end pretty soon, Ben. Well, I think I should get a book before I can be declared winner of Book Wars. Well, you start off with a book. Well, that doesn't count. It's just like victory by default. Oh, oh, I think I know what's going to come from the West, Ben. Yeah. A Chaos Rebellion. <laughs> oh no.